girls. So today is the day. It is ink and iron. And I'm really excited because the pinna pageant is today. I will be there judging the pageant and the winners will be announced tomorrow. So I thought I'd vlog along the way and I'd do a get ready with me. I have not done a get ready with me video in quite some time. So I'll get started. The first thing I'm going to do is curl my hair with a 3 quarter inch curling iron. I always like to do my hair first before I do my makeup. That way I give my hair plenty of time to set. Now we all know what's in that red cup. Just kidding. It's coke. Now since I've done this hair tutorial plenty of times before, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. Um, so I'm just going to get to the styling part. But if you have not seen the tutorial, it's my pin curl tutorial and I will link it down in the description box below for you. Now it's time for makeup and I'm going to be taking my proactive facial primer and applying that all before I put my foundation. Now the foundation I'm going to use is my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I won't show that process as well because I've showed it plenty of times. And I'm using my Estee Lauder Double Wear Powder just to set my foundation. Now, this thing, the Frame Up Brow Collection from Sigma is incredible. I mean, you get so many products with it. You get eyeshadows, um, brow highlighters, tweezers, eyebrow pencils. It, it's amazing. It's everything a girl needs. I'm taking my eyebrow pencil in the color Elevate, and I'm going to take my little brow groomer right here. It comes with a brow angled brush and one to comb your little hairs which is what I'm doing now and I'm taking the brow pencil and what I'm doing is eyelining just eyelining sorry lining just the bottom portion of my brow to get a shape going and as you've guessed I have changed my brow routine <laughs> just because I got this kit and I it, it worked so perfect I, I'm completely in love with it so what I'm doing now is just kind of lightly shading in the hairs and this is just going to give it a more natural look. Now I'm taking this medium brow powder which also comes with the kit and I'm going to use this to lightly shade in my brows to give it more of a kind of full look. And I'm also going to use that to outline the top portion of my brows and give the top portion a shape as well. Voila, here are some new painted on eyebrows. Next, time for some makeup. I'm going to take my Sigma primer and apply that all over my lid and just a little bit above the crease. Next, I'm going to take this color from MAC and it's the color Antique. And I'm going to pack this on my lid. So this is the only color we're pretty much going to be using, this color and another color. But what you want to do with this one is just pack it, pack it, pack it. And now we're going to start blending this color out and up towards the brow bone. After blending, I'm going to go into my Goddess Glow Highlight Duo. And I'm going to take this peachy color and apply it kind of towards the crease and up towards the brow bone. This is more of a transition color, but I wanted to use it on top of the color. I feel like it blends in a lot better this way. And this also does come with the brow kit. Next is eyeliner, and I have my Rimmel Waterproof Eyeliner. And I'm just using that with my Liqueur Dual End Brush. So here's what we got so far. Now it's time for some mascara and I'm using my Grande Lash Mascara. And I'm taking my Naomi Lashes and this is from Sally's Beauty Supply.
And now the usual white eyeliner and mascara to finish it up. Now I'm really sad because this is my wet and wild blush and it just completely broke. And I'm going to blend it in with my Wood Winked MAC eyeshadow. I've showed you this trick before and I just love it because it gives that bronzy look. And now time to prepare my lips for matte lipstick. Now I'm using this Vaseline Lip Therapy. I know a while back I told you that my lips were doing this crazy odd thing of drying out really bad. Well this has helped it a lot so if you have that problem I definitely recommend you go out and get it. And now I'm taking my Melt Cosmetics color in the 666. And this one is just so awesome. If you have not used Mel, you need to. They're a bit pricey, but definitely worth it. Very pigmented and very, very matte. And this is like a dark burgundy color. And I'm pairing that with my Sienna lip liner that I bought at Sally's. And here is the final look. At least the makeup portion. Hair time. So now I'm taking out all these pins as usual, taking everything out. And preparing for brushing. Next, I'm just going to run my fingers through and just kind of loosen the curls up. And some of you have been asking, yes, I did cut my hair. I cut my hair in layers and the, the layers, I have just way too many layers. So now I'm waiting for my hair to grow back. <laughs> so what I'm doing now is taking my Denman brush and just brushing through the curls. You have to mold these curls and it does take time so don't get frustrated. It takes me a while. I know here I'm just fast forwarding through everything and cutting everything out but it does take a while. Once you get it to where you want, just spray some hairspray. And what I'm doing is spraying hairspray and then lifting up with my hands and this is just going to get the curls to dry in place. And now I'm going to work on my bangs and what I did was just section all of my bangs and tease each each section again it's in my pin curl tutorial so you can all check it out there just look at the description box below that my hair is done it is time to accessorize and this is a black net veil from vintage box 1947 I'll have their link down below and all I'm using to keep it in place is a bobby pin and here is the final makeup and hair look so now time for my outfit and this is a dress from pinup girl clothing it's the mass Weemy dress the color in here looks more cranberry, but you'll see in photos right now that it's more of a purple, and I just love this. It makes your mm, girls look pretty good. <laughs> I love the top. It gives a nice burlesque kind of look. And here are some photos with some of you lovely fans that I met out there. And this is the actual color of the dress, so it's really purple and completely different than what my video was showing. And I do have more footage of vlogging at Ink and Iron and taking so many photos of you. I will have a separate video with you guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. Love you tons. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon.